Hey, what's up, everybody? Tomorrow, May the 24th, noon Eastern Standard Time. A lot of people has been waiting for this moment. All we have been hearing for the last couple of years is, will the bill get passed? When's the bill going to get passed? When are we going to have the opportunity to buy the 2021 Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars? Well, the time has finally come. And... I don't know. Are you excited about this release? What are your pros? What are your cons? Let me know in the comment section below. I was super excited before the details came out about this release. And then as time has gone on, I've kind of soured on them a little bit, a little bit. My original thought was buying the Morgan Silver Dollar with the CC Privy Mark and the peace dollar. My plan is still to buy the peace dollar. I think out of all of these, in my opinion, all of this is my opinion, by the way, this is not financial advice. I'm not trying to convince anybody why to buy these or not to buy these. Just having a conversation here on the channel. But I think for me, this is the one that I want to buy. I'm going kind of, I'm kind of going back and forth on the Carson City privy mark morgan silver dollar i would much of rather have seen this with the carson city mint mark maybe you know fire up the old machine in carson city I believe it's still working i think they still use it on occasion however would it be able to pump out 175,000 of these i don't know but i would rather have seen this to be a mint mark rather than a privy mark but you have to go with what you have and it is a carson city privy mark the other question i have is are you buying these if you are buying these are you buying these to be a collector are you buying these to be a flipper do you want to make some money on these or are you just buying these to hold we're also going to take a look at i think it's pretty funny that these are pre-sales these are pre-sales and there's actually pre-sales of the pre-sale on ebay and we're going to take a look at that in just a moment see how much are these already selling for on the secondary market now every time i do this every time we go and look at pre-sales on ebay i always say look at these with a grain of salt because we don't know how many of these are just trying to pump up the price trying to inflate the price before they even get them in their hands just so we can establish a secondary market value versus real sales so we don't know what's real and what's not but we're going to take a look at that in just a moment so which one of these if you are a buyer of the morgan silver dollars which one are you going to buy let us know in the comment section below are you buying all of them for me i just can't wrap up that much money and buying all of these when there is going to be a ton of these coins for me a hundred and seventy five thousand at least product limit because we don't know if there's going to be any more in the future we kind of know that there's not going to be any more in 2021 but we don't know how many they're going to make if they're gonna make any more next year, and that's the key question. But even if they only made 175,000, even if they only produced 175,000, I believe that is still a lot of coins. That's a that's a big mintage. And then when you factor in, there's five in between all of the uh, mint marks and privy marks. And between all the mints, 175,000 times five, that is almost 900,000 coins. So, I mean, the market, the secondary market, in my opinion, is going to be flooded. So, are these going to demand that high of a premium or are they going to fizzle out? Now, they may be a decent flip at the very beginning, and then are they going to fizzle out over time? I don't know. I wish I knew. I wish I had that crystal ball. I just don't know. The secondary market demand is a crazy thing. It's a crazy thing. If everybody knew, then I think everybody would be, you know, buying the max or buying zero if they knew what the secondary market was going to command. 
for these coins or any other coin for that matter. But one of the tell-all signs is going to be tomorrow, May the 24th. Is this website going to be crashing on you? Is it going to be easy to purchase these? Is it going to be one of those things where the website might be easy and may not have any problems? But that little red add to the bag button is only going to be available for 10 minutes and then they're going to take it away. All those, all those questions are going to be answered tomorrow, noon Eastern Standard Time, May the 24th. It's definitely, I'm definitely going to be on. I'm definitely going to be on. I'm definitely going to check it out and see how easy it is to be able to order these. And I may actually purchase the Morgan Silver Dollar from Carson City. If I do pick up a Morgan Silver Dollar, it is only going to be the Carson City, none of the other ones. But I am mainly excited for the June 7th release, and that is the Peace Dollar. I believe, I believe in my gut that this is going to be the one to get. This is going to be the one, even though it's a little bit of a higher mintage for the coin itself, but it's the only peace dollar being offered, and I believe it is the best in the terms of appearance. I believe, at least according to what I'm looking at on the, on the computer screen, it is the best in terms of luster. I think this is the one. I think this one is going to sell out very, very fast in my opinion but let me know your opinion let's go take a look and see what the pre-sales of the pre-sales are doing on ebay all right so we are looking at the pre-sales of the pre-sales and what do i mean by that well the united states mint is basically a pre-sale you're not going to get these until sometime in, in october so these ones listed on ebay you're probably not going to get till sometime what in november so that's what we are looking at but we are looking at this one here the first one that we're looking at we're looking at the most recent sold and i never understand this why don't people first try to get these from directly from the united states mint before they start buying on ebay which is why i'm a little skeptical whenever i look at these prices when people are buying these for 136 dollars before they even go on sale through the united states mint however 136 dollars and when i look at the feedback of this user only 21 21 feedback so very skeptical when i am looking at these pre-sales very low feedback this one here is a cc privy mark a little bit higher 145 dollars how many of a feedback what kind of feedback do they have 317 a little bit better um but that then we have here 184 dollars this is for the cc privy mark so these are some of the pre-sales on ebay but we're not gonna really know how good these are gonna do in terms of resale value probably until about four to five months after they're already in hand so we probably won't know how good these are really gonna do truly until probably april of 2022 march April of 2022, about four to five months or so after this release is over. But these are what the pre sales are doing. Let's take a look real quick at the Peace Dollar pre sale of the pre sale. All right, so here is the Peace Dollar pre sale of the pre sale. And these are going for about 160 bucks. This one here, for all six coins this is the cheapest that i've seen it go for um, because usually all six of them on ebay have been selling for over a thousand dollars so it seems almost as if if you're buying all six of them the price has already come down a little bit so that one's 160 184 160 so roughly about the same same right around the same neighborhood as the 2021 morgan dollars so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about all of this are you excited are you going to be dialed in at noon eastern standard time tomorrow may the 24th let us know in the comment section below appreciate everybody for watching please like comment subscribe and i'll talk to everybody on my next video thanks a lot everyone